Welcome to my first Football Manager 2019 experiment video. Over the next few days, I'm going to be uploading a few videos looking into the new tactical styles implemented into the game. And this is the first video. As you can see on the left hand side, there's a variety of tactical styles on the game. Now, I did make a video on the new revamped tactic system. So go and check that out if you want to find out a little bit more. But essentially over the next few videos, I'm going to be testing all of these styles. Now I've taken control of Stuttgart, predicted to finish mid table in the Bundesliga. I thought we'd choose a mid range team, but I'm going to test this tactic on the first day of the season, which will be against Dortmund, obviously a powerful team in Germany. So we're going to give it a go and I'm going to basically show the same game multiple times using each tactic. So in this first video, we're going to have a look at control possession. I'm going to take it through. I'm not going to do anything fancy. We're going to test control possession first, as you can see here. It's a positive mentality. In possession, it's all about short passing, working the ball into the box. When you, the ball's in transition, you know, take short free kicks, uh, distribute to the centre backs, counter press, out of possession, you've got a higher defensive line and very high pressing intensity. Now there's a few different formations that I can choose, but I'm going to select the first option that it suggests. So this top one here, so a 4-2-3-1, and we're going to stick with the roles that it suggests as well. And I'm actually going to get my assistant to pick the team. Now I'm going to continue past this friendly game. I'll just let my assistant take control of that match. And then for the Dortmund match, I will get him to pick the squad he thinks I should choose and then we're going to get on with it. This is why this is an experiment rather than me taking control. I'm allowing the game really to do do it for me. And throughout all these videos, I'm going to try out all of the different styles. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see all the other styles over the next few days. And please leave a like if you enjoy this video. As I've mentioned on a couple of my other videos recently, I am at Sports Interactive headquarters recording these videos. So you might hear some background noise. It's not perfect audio as a result. But it does mean that we're playing on a, an alpha version of the game, meaning there is the in-game editor. So I have maximized the tactical familiarity, which is perfect for this experiment. So we can actually test out all the tactics perfectly, really, because the, the squad will be used to the tactic. I've got my assistant to pick the team he thinks we should have. And I'm going to submit the team and we're going to play this first match of control possession. We'll see what this is all about. And this is... Dortmund team are coming up against, very strong team, no introduction really needed for those players, they've got some quality players, one of the favourites to, to do well in the Bundesliga of course. Team talk, I'm just going to let my assistant do everything because I don't want that to really influence anything, it's just trying to make me do the induction again. Let's hand over to the assistant, I'm also set piece instructions, I'll get my assistant to do it. So I'm not really taking any control of this because I want the game to be tested rather than my ability as a manager to be tested, if you get what I mean. Get the assistant to do that as well. And we'll get on with this first match, it's on really fast for some reason. And what I will do is I'm going to show it 2D because I think it's easier to see tactically when it's on 2D, I think that makes sense. And uh, we'll get on with this. And I won't do any shouts. I won't really do anything. I'll just let the game play out. I'll make substitutions if I have to, of course, or if tired, players getting tired. So nothing much is happening at the moment, but Dortmund almost take the lead. I'm actually going to show it on extended as well. I think that makes sense. We've missed a, f a good chunk of this first half, but I think it makes sense to show it on extended for these experiments as well. Hope you're looking forward to the others. I think Gagan Preston will be interesting and Vertical Tiki Taka. These are the ones I've particularly looking forward to. Pretty boring match so far, but here come Dortmund with another free kick and that is saved by our goalkeeper. Classic 2D view, old school football manager. Put the match stats over there as well so we can have a look at what's going on. We've had 47% possession so far. Considering we're meant to be controlling possession, that isn't great. Now we are playing at home as well, so you know we should be doing a little bit better than that I think. But Dortmund are a very good team, so we're testing this, these tactics out against a strong German outfit with a mid-range German team. Dortmund currently controlling the possession themselves, passing it around at the back. We're hoping to try and intercept and push up the pitch. There we go. Brilliant. And this should be a goal. It is. We've already scored 1-0. Mario Gomez with the goal. Corner. No, not corner. Free kick. 
Actually, Witzel with the shot well wide for Dortmund. Even less possession now, 42%. It might be because we're playing against a very good team. We've got Pavard at the back. I forgot about that. I haven't really looked at the players, to be honest, because obviously for the sake of this experiment, we're just focusing on the tactic, really. I suppose I could do this with lots of other teams, but I thought I'd try it out in Bundesliga as that's uh, now licensed on FM19, which is exciting as we hit another shot just wide of the goal. So half time, 1 0 up. I'll just get my assistant to do that. And we'll start the second half. So five shots to their six, 45% possession. We've created, where's clear cut chances? One clear cut chance. We'll put half chances on there as well, I think. Because that's always nice to see, if it lets me. Half chances and woodwork we we'll put on there. As we come forwards again, looking for a second goal. I've not done anything with set pieces either, by the way. As we almost get a second goal, but it's a good save by their goalkeeper. And now we're going to take the corner. The standard corner instructions crossed in, headed away easily, hoping to rebuild from the back and have an opportunity on goal again. Into the box, out of the box again, crosses it in. Gomez can't quite get on the end of it. But this is encouraging. I mean, this tactic, control possession tactic, is working okay. We're not really controlling possession, but we are beating Dortmund. That's not bad, is it? And we seem to have had the better of the opportunities in the second half as we get a second through Daniel de Davi. And of course, Royce has got injured. Who else? Well, we've also got an injury to our right back. And I don't actually have a right back on the bench. Uh, but we can play Pavard there, so that's okay. And we'll bring this guy in and confirm that change. Free kick to Dortmund, looking to get back into the game. They've really only had highlights from free kicks, interestingly. And that's wild. They've just not created anything. Zero clear-cut chances, zero half chances. And now we haven't um, dominated position like this tactic's meant to. But we've actually played really well. And we've scored two goals. We've prevented them from having chances. They've been having long-range efforts. This is working effectively. Maybe that's that higher defensive line pushing up. High-pressure football. Preventing them from getting into the uh, attacking third of their pitch. Or our pitch. We're looking for a third now, 65 minutes in. I might make a couple changes as well to any tired players out there. Castro plays it back. And we're just, this is, this is what we're doing, controlling possession. When we're on the ball, not doing anything too crazy. This is another opportunity to get around the back of Dortmund. Back to Pavard. He drives in. Good stuff. This should be a third, but it's blocked. But there's another opportunity possibly. Crossed back. Come on. No, it's fired wide. Castro's going to come off. Throw on Gentner and oh Thommy, he's not played particularly well. Uh, I don't know who the best option. Ah, this is the best option now. You've got a little green button, green sort of symbol next to your assistant manager's suggestion at a substitution. Now I'm leaving it on positive. I'm not changing anything. We're just letting the game play out and see what it does on positive. I'm hoping we can hang on here. Five minutes to go. Dortmund really haven't done anything. They've hit the woodwork once apparently. They've had zero clear-cut chances, zero half chances. This tactic looks good. I know we've maxed out the tactical familiarity, but we're kind of behaving like it's halfway through a season just to get a more realistic view of this tactic. If I was just to have no tactical familiarity, then we wouldn't actually be able to see what this tactic is all about. Um, so, yeah, I think that's the best way to do these experiments as we uh, look to just, you know, play this game out. Now, Pavard coming down the wing, crossing it in, and not quite a third. Free kick, and that's cold just onto the... Oh, it's saved, in fact, by the Dortmund goalkeeper. We've had a lot more shots than them. Possession's been pretty much 50-50 in this game. We've created four half chances and a clear-cut chance. My rating of this tactic is relatively high, actually. I'm, I'm impressed. They've got a corner at the death to try and get back into it, and, oh, we've just about... Oh, it's gone in. It's just... Is it offside? It's not, not offside. It's an own goal. They've got a goal back right at the death. I mean, it's from a corner as well, so uh, it wasn't a clear-cut chance or a half chance. It's a bit of a fluky goal. They might actually go and equalise here. We're trying to get a third as we push forwards. Maybe they won't get an equaliser. I hope not. It's cleared. Here's Gentner. Out wide. Great ball, actually. Really good ball. Crossed in. Easy catch for the goalkeeper, though. Very impressive, though, overall. And it looks like we're about to win 2-1 first game of the season like I said all the other videos I'm going to repeat this game but with the other tactics so we can compare like for like as best as possible and I will maximize the tactical familiarity of all of them as well 
We'll just have a look at the match statistics just to finish this experiment video today. But please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure you check out all the other experiments I'm going to upload over the next few days as well. So as you can see here, 15 shots to their 11. But I think the key thing here is we created chances they didn't. Most of their shots were long range efforts. So that's really positive, although we didn't dominate possession. But I don't I mean, I suppose that's what this tactics meant to be about control possession. But it doesn't really matter if we won and we prevented the team from creating any opportunities. And we will end it there. So thank you for watching. Like I said, join me for all the other tactical experiments I'm going to do shortly. Till next time, enjoy Football Manager. I'll see you very soon.